Yes, all oh yeah, right, and welcome back on this channel. So today we are back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you on how to set up a VPN app and get a super fast and a secure connection, extra protection as you are using the internet. So today we, we're going to learn on how to set up NPV tunnel VPN. This app, it's available on Google Play Store. This app, in case you set it up, you set it up accurately. The app will help you to secure your connection at the array of security when you are online. And to get this app, simply head over to Google Play Store. And when you reach on Google Play Store, you install the app. It's called NPV Tunnel. And you search in among the presented, you pick this one. This is the app. So let me take this chance to welcome all viewers, all subscribers of the channel. You are highly welcomed in today's guide. So when you open the app, you will land on its home screen. So when you reach on the home screen, you can see that the app to work it needs or it requires a particular configuration. So today I'm going to show you on how to create one and set up the NPV tunnel in order to achieve a reliable connection, extra protection and also to secure your connection when you are online. So today I'm gonna show you step by step, so make sure to watch this video from the start to the end so that you don't miss any of the important steps which will be mentioned in the video. So the first step is you are required to set up or to create a configuration. So you open Chrome, a place where you can search and install Android apps. And when you reach on Chrome, in the search bar, you search for fast SSH V2 Ray. So you search for that, and among the presented, you pick for this uh, option named Dynamic V2 Ray Server. So you pick Dynamic V2 Ray Server. From here, you will be required to verify if you are a human. So you complete this step. Make sure to complete it. Then you will be able to go to the next setting before we dive into deep in the settings please you take this time to like share and subscribe on the channel so you verify and on the successful verification the page will open so you land on the list of servers and from here you'll be required to pick a server so you can either pick this one or this one or you can browse around the list of the pages of the servers and in your desired location you pick your desired server for example this server is from Singapore and this is from US so among the two or among the presented you can browse around the list of servers right here but for today's gate since it is educational let's create a server from Singapore so you tap on create a Vitray account right here as I was telling you that in case you are new on the channel please take the time to like share and subscribe so you won't miss any of my future coming content and when you tap on create account the page will load and when it loads it will take you to this particular page where you will be required to enter a username also obtain a working SNI server name indication and the other thing you will be required to do is you must verify I'm not a robot and after doing all that you'll be prompted to click on create account so let me take you step by step the first step is we need we will need a server like a username you can use any name or any username you prefer but for the sake of the SNI you must obtain one it is not random you must get one you must generate one if you have it you just simply paste it here or you write it here then you proceed but if you don't have it for your particular country let me show you on how to get one so that you can set up this app in order to achieve a stable connection extra protection and also to secure your connection when you are online so the 
the SNI is very important because it will enhance the connection. So in case you use a correct SNI, the, the connection will be successful and you enjoy a more stable and a secure connection in when you are online. So to get SNI, simply head back and open a new tab. I mean you open Google Play Store where you can search and install Android apps. From here you need a particular app which will help you to get the required SNI of your country. So when you reach on Google Play Store, search for the app which is called Covnet. Covnet. So among the presented, you pick this one. This app it's on Google Play Store, it will help you to generate the working SNI of your country. So you open the app and you run on its home screen. From here you will be prompted to click on SNI generator. And from here I recommend you to tap on this button which says select country. And you will see a list of countries. Scroll along until you see or you find your country name. And in case you don't find here your country name, you can comment it down below but make sure to check before you comment so that I can help you. But I think most of the countries are listed right here. So you come here and when you reach, you pick your country name. Mm, please note that a SNI from a different country where you are not from, it will not work in your country. So make sure to pick your particular country. For example, if you're from Gambia, you pick Gambia, then you click generate. If you are not from Gambia, you go back, then you pick your country. Let's say it's Egypt, you pick Egypt, then you click generate. Please make sure don't pick a country where you are not from because the SNI from a different country cannot work in your particular country. So make sure to pick a country where you are located. I think the point is noted. So for demonstration purposes, let me use this country name. Let me use Ukraine. And after picking your country name, you click on generate. And you give this app a few seconds for it to generate the SNI. And the SNI will be generated down below. And as you can see right here, you can tap on, on the next button and the app will present you the other SNIs. Just when you tap on the next button, the app presents a new SNI. And uh, in case you're not from there, you pick your country, you click generate, and the, the world, this, this app will generate SNI for that particular country. So you can see that you can move from pages and pages of different SNI by tapping on this next button. The app generates a new SNI. So that's how we find and get a working SNI. And when you get a particular SNI for your desired country or a country you are from, you tap on copy. And when you copy, you go back. You go back. So you are required in order to get the setup complete or to to make sure the setup is accurate, you must check if this SNI is working. And if the SNI is not working, you can go back and then you pick a new SNI as I showed you previously. And this is how to check if the SNI is working or it's down. Open Google, then you visit where you see host. So you search for host checker, host checker. And as we search for the host checker website, in case you are new on this channel or you are still watching up to this minute and you have not yet subscribed, please you take this time and subscribe to this channel. By doing so, you are helping this channel to grow and you are helping this channel to reach a wider audience of people who need the same knowledge. And when you subscribe, you can comment in the comment section where you need help. I will be able to help you and if you have done so let's move to the next step so when you reach the host checker you visit this website host checker first here the copied sni then you click on ssl check 
this particular step will help you to verify whether the SNI is working or it's not. So we click on SSL Shake and the result shows that the SNI is still valid. And in case you get a different result, for example, this one could not retrieve SSL certificate. This indicates that the SNI is not working and it is down, so it won't work. So make sure to read the results and the SNI which is working must present that the SSL certificate is valid. So in case you confirm with the SSL certificate or you confirm that the SNI is working, you go back where we were and you paste here the working SNI. So first of all, you enter a username, just like that, a random username, which you will be able to remember. And uh, SNI, you paste it here. Remember, we have just generated this SNI. And if you skipped that step, go back and watch it. We have just learned on how to get one. And after that, we are required to verify I'm not a robot. So you tap on this button right here. And you give this up a few seconds, it will be able to verify this recapture. So after that, you scroll around and then you click on create account. Go back and then you wait for, the, for this website to generate your dynamic v account configuration, which will, you, will help us to set up the NPV tunnel VPN in order to achieve a super fast and a stable connection, extra protection, and also to get high enhanced connection when you are online. And when you wait for the website, you see such results, which are right here. You see that the uh, configuration will be generated. So you copy it by tapping on this copy button. The copy button is right here. So you copy. And after copying it, kindly head back to the home screen of your device. But you need another extra app. Uh, and also the app it is on Google Play Store. This app will help you to do some changes. You'll be able to do some changes to the configuration. So you install this app. It is known as Vitoretune. This one, Vitre Tune VPN. So you open this app after installing it. You open it. This app will help you to edit to do some changes on our configuration. So when you reach in this app, Vitre Tune, you are required to follow the steps as I'm gonna show you. Tap on this plus button. From here, you click on Import from Clipboard. This will allow the app to obtain the created dynamic V3 configuration. So from this app, you are required to do some changes to this configuration. And uh, the first three setting is where you see remarks, you can remove what is there. And uh, you put a name you prefer. So the key configure like the key change or the main change is where you see address address you remove what is say what is there just like that you remove what is there and then you bring it down here so you, you remove then you bring it down here and you bring it down draw here where you see SNI so you paste it here then you all you you bring what is there on what was here on the SNI then you bring it up here where you see address and also where you see SNI you copy it again you bring it where you see WS host. Then the other 
changes are you are able you can be able to edit this username i mean the remarks and then you put there any name you want for example npv npv tunnel config just like that you can put there any name or any remarks let me hope you understood what was done in this particular step in case you didn't understand you can rewatch but all this is done to make sure that the app works all the configuration is set successfully and also take note that in case you miswrite or you have errors in typing the sni or you make some changes the the setup will not be successful so make sure to watch and then you understand what was done right here and then you click on save and after saving the configuration you tap on this pencil like here right here and then you tap here on the three dots click share and then you click on export to your url then you copy by tapping on this button right here and after doing that head back to the npv tunnel app and if you are still watching up to this minute you have not yet subscribed i recommend you that you subscribe on the channel comment in the comment section where you need help i will be able to help you out and when you reach in npv tunnel tap on this add button add the configuration button from here tap on import from clipboard then opt for v3 config and your configuration will be put in press and that is the accurate way of setting up and configuring npv tunnel with a udp configuration and those are the steps which are followed in order to create a configuration of npv tunnel so all this is done to set up npv tunnel in order to achieve a reliable a secure connection extra protection when you are online so after doing that you tap on this configuration once just like that then you click on home and the last setting is to activate the app and start it up so you tap on that and you can see that the app is right connected and that's how we set up npv tunnel to get a super fast and a secure connection extra protection when you are online and if you didn't understand any of the particular steps don't hesitate to comment comment in the comment section so that we are hoped and before we close up in case the connection keeps fighting or the app can't, can't connect please make sure to change the sni it may be down or you can change the server the virtual server when you are creating you create from a different country and also you can double check your settings to make sure that you are accurate and when you do that the app will be connected and your connection will be secured please like share subscribe on the call uh, to this channel you subscribe to this channel for more useful content and let's meet in the next video